In this lesson, we are going to learn about nonlinear dielectrics. Okay, so generally, if you were to plot a graph between your polarization density and your electric field strength, let's say your P is over here, E is over here, then what you're going to get is a linear relationship. Okay, so these type of dielectrics which have a linear relationship are known as your linear dielectrics and dry electrics which do not obey this kind of a variation between your polarization and electric field are known as nonlinear dielectrics okay so in this lesson we are going to talk about nonlinear dielectrics particularly your ferroelectrics okay so what are your ferroelectric materials your ferroelectric materials are materials that undergo spontaneous polarization okay so what is your spontaneous polarization your spontaneous polarization basically means that your ferroelectric is able to get polarized even when the applied electric field is equal to zero okay so even in the absence of the electric field you are able to get the polarization in a ferroelectric material okay this property is known as ferroelectricity and this material is known as ferroelectric material okay the reason for ferroelectricity is the presence of permanent dipole moment okay so your ferroelectric material has permanent dipoles okay or natural dipoles if you were to look at a material in a microscopic way what you're going to find out is you have certain regions wherein all the atoms or molecules are pointing in a certain direction or are oriented in a certain direction okay so let's just say i have a region in which all the dipole moments are like this another region in which all the dipole moments are like this yet another in which all the dipole moments are like this and there is one more in which all the dipole moments are like this okay so when there is no electric field what's going to happen is the net dipole moment due to all these regions which are having their dipole moments in random orientations results in zero polarization okay let's just understand we are saying a ferroelectric material has polarization greater than zero even when e or electric field is zero okay just understand why this happens at this moment when electric field is zero your polarization is also zero okay now let's see what happens when i increase my electric field okay or when i try to apply a electric field and increase its strength okay when i increase the strength of my electric field more and more dipole moments they rotate okay so dipole moments are going to be rotated or dipoles are going to be rotated until they can align themselves along this electric field okay so what you get is a bigger region which has your net dipole moment oriented in a single direction okay so you are going to see that more and more dipoles now point in a certain direction okay something like this there may be still some regions which do not point to the same direction but you now have a bigger region which points to the same direction or has a dipole moment pointing in the same direction okay so these regions are your domains okay now if you increase this electric field further even these domains these smaller domains they are going to try to orient themselves in a single direction okay so when you further increase the electric field 